Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching Southern Living Homestead. Our cupcakes were really good. Kids absolutely loved them. We put them in the freezer as well so we can have it for another night for a family movie night that we normally do on Friday nights. But today I thought I would go over about our garden stuff that we've been working on. We started doing seeds in little seed starter pods. Uh, the beginning like around February 1st, the first week of February, that's when we tend to try to do those. Last year we didn't do the seeds in the pods. I wanted to just get the plants right away, put them in the ground after the last frost in April. Uh, we live here in North Carolina, so I always tried to plant um, after the last frost in April. So I try to shoot for like the first week of April. Um, and that's when we have uh, better progress at that time doing that. And so so um, if I do go to get, um, you know, plants already started, I love to go to a local nursery here. Near. Uh, anyway, so the plants we usually get there. So I will still get some plants this year as well because I never know how the seeds are going to do well in the seed starter kits. It's more of having fun with the kids, hands-on doing it. They have a blast. Um, and I'll show you some videos that we did throughout the first week of, of February with that. They really thoroughly enjoyed it. So I'm gonna show you over here what I have for our seed starters that we have started. I have two sets going right now. Um, one's got 72 in it and the other probably like 36, um, give or take. I'm going to show you what we have and then I'm going to take us outside to show you what we've done also for our garden that we've started right now. It's still a work in progress, but we're at the mark of Valentine's. So we're, I try to get everything ready before April 1st. We started with the yard work in January, getting all the leaves up that we could, trimming bushes. I really like to keep the yard clean around that time because sadly we live next to a ditch so I don't want more snakes to come up through that's I always I'm always terrified that you never I mean you're always probably gonna have a snake or two with gardening that's for sure but I like to try to control and maintain as best as possible especially with the kids going outside so here let me show you what we have for the seeds this is what I have going on right now I have the two cases I have it in a window area that way they get lots of sunlight and the kids thoroughly love enjoying and coming seeing them every day to see if anything's happened. They've been really excited the past two days because we have had some stuff popping up and they're really excited about that. So that one's the full case of 72 and then this one is a give or take about I think 36. So we have some more sprouting here as well. And also again, I definitely make sure that it has sunlight. I don't have any grow lights, but this still does amazing. And the kids have a blast putting them together. That's what matters. I thoroughly love that they enjoy doing that. That's really cold still here in North Carolina for me. Um, but yeah, we are outside, out in the backyard. This is our garden so far. Um, every year it grows for us more and more. I thoroughly love it. Charles loves to take his play tractor out here and pretend that he's cutting grass. I absolutely love that. Uh, we did build a new garden bed over the weekend. My husband and uh, a friend of ours um, did that with him and it looks amazing. I really love it. I started laying the boxes down on the inside. I need to figure out something to line it with on the sides. So I'm still working that on that. And we did pick up some soil from Walmart yesterday. I'm totally going to need a lot more. So that'll be the next step. And I saved a lot of branches that I cut down from the trees in the back to create more sunlight to get over here. And I'm gonna try to make a trellis again. I love doing that for the cucumbers. It's really fun reusing stuff around the backyard. Mom, so. this water on the grass. Yes, it's, it's definitely wet. It's okay though. Make some daffodils out front for grandma. Yeah. Yeah, all right, we gotta go grab some scissors and then we'll go get some, okay? Okay. Daffodils for Grandma? Yeah. Yeah. They are beautiful. Do they smell good too? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, we found those in the backyard instead of the front yard. Mmm, they do smell good. What's your wish? I wish for a baby sister. <laughs> this is our garden area and it's, it's definitely a little paradise out here when we're out here with the kids gardening, especially they love it. They, uh, Charles absolutely loves coming out here and eating off the the tomato plant and it's the best thing it's awesome seeing them get in, involved in it learning about it and then that we get to enjoy the food for the summer and also throughout the winter because we can it as well so 
Thank you for joining us, and I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day. Thank you. Take care. Bye.